Hello and welcome to Law Seeko. So today we cover the top 10 news developments for the day under 2 minutes for judiciary aspirants. We start with the national news first. So the union cabinet has given approval for the establishment of new civil enclaves at the Bihata Airport in Patna, Bihar and also at the Bag Dogra Airport in Siliguri, West Bengal. Secondly, the beloved actor of Indian cinema and also indeed the very talented Pankaj Tripathi, he was the guest of honor at this year's India Parade in New York. It was held at the Madison Avenue and was organized by the Federation of Indian Associations. Thirdly, the Reserve Bank of India, it approves uh, Sele Su Kumar Nair as the MD and CEO of Tamil Nadu Mercantile Bank. And fourthly, the central government, it has reduced windfall tax on petroleum crude to Rs 2,100 per metric ton. This is down from Rs 4,600 per metric ton. India recently hosted the third Voice of Global South Summit on 17th of August. This is part of Prime Minister's broader vision of Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas or Sabka Prayas. Rooted in the philosophy of Vasudev Kutumbakam, this summit aims to unite Global South countries. In a major bureaucratic reshuffling, the Appointments Committee of Cabinet approved 18 secretary-level appointments across various ministries. So Rajesh Kumar Singh, who is the 1989 batch IAS cadre officer of the Kerala cadre, he will take charge as the defense secretary from the current secretary Giridhar Aramani. Now let's cover a scheme from Maharashtra where the state government has launched the Manji Ladli scheme. This is for eligible women with over 1 crore beneficiaries expected. The Chief Minister for the state, he stated that if the alliance is re-elected, rather he hinted that the stipend can be increased from the current ceiling of 1500 to 3000 rupees. On 15th of August, uh, Honorable the Chief Justice of Gujarat High Court Sunita Agarwal inaugurated India's first mediation arbitration centre at Gujarat High Court. This center it aims to streamline the dispute resolution processes using you know out of court settlement processes like mediation and arbitration now let's cover an arunachal pradesh related update where the chief minister for the state pema khandu he strengthened the existing inner line permit system that makes it mandatory for any non arunachali citizen to obtain permit to enter the state now let's cover the important international news developments and first let's talk about Indonesia. So the outgoing Indonesian president uh, Joko Widodo, he names uh, Prabowo Subian aides to cabinet. Now let's talk about Bangladesh. So a United Nations human rights team is going to visit Dhaka this week to discuss the investigations into the recent human rights violation during the unrest in Bangladesh. It was stated by the UN Human Rights Commission that the UN High Commissioner uh, he is going to discuss the situation with the interim leader Mohammed Yunus about the support that the UN Human Rights Commission can offer. Now let's cover an important day related update. So the day concerned is the Sanskrit Divas. It is observed and celebrated on 6th, 19th of August every year. And this is uh, observed annually on full moon day which is Purnima of the Shravan month. This day features events promoting Sanskrit. So that's all we have for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until we meet tomorrow.